With the constant threat of IEDs across Afghanistan, some military vehicles will be disabled. Getting these vehicles back home can be a challenge, but Mr. Terrence Roosh has the answer. A new improved record called the Max Pro Recovery Vehicle, or MPRV. As an instructor working on Bagram Air Base, he loves to teach soldiers how to operate the new vehicle. Well, working with the soldiers is great. It's a very good uh, relative to my job back in the States teaching auto mechanics in a high school setting. This is, uh, this is uh, very similar. It's uh, very gratifying to work with uh, young soldiers. The MPRV allows recovery teams to recover vehicles that they used to have to destroy, and soldiers are getting training they never had before. What we did today was learn about uh, the, different, the different parts of this record, the MRV. We learned that, uh, a couple different drags. We learned different ways that uh, we can go around obstacles and utilize this truck as another asset to, to the team. And Mr. Roosh gets just as much benefit from the training as the soldiers. Well, it's very, very fulfilling to me. I get to see firsthand working with the soldiers exactly how they understand how this relates to their mission, taking the truck out in the field. And we get to, sh to show them real world experience right here in the training site. The new vehicles will be deployed to units for recovery operations across Afghanistan within the next year. Specialist David is Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. Your orders keep ensure the safety, okay? Everybody's going to spot for you around the back of the truck, the different uh, contact points. <laughs> Hey, that's the hook facing back. Hook out. There we go. Now we'll take the boom at 20 degree angle. We take that over to our chart here. 25 degree. So go boom up and get this thing up in the air. on the rear. Okay. We're going to verify the capacity of the charter. All right. So keep an eye on your spotter and okay. uh, from there you're going to take it up. So you're going to lift the boom. Right. Yep. The right angle. Perfect. Good. Wrong way, huh? You are going <laughs> clockwise. We were covered by the cables. The boom was all the way out, uh, 30 degrees. We were covered for 20. Uh, what did it be like by your job? Well, working with the soldiers is great. It, it's a it's a very good. Uh, it's relative to my job back in the states, teaching auto mechanics in a high school setting. This is a uh, this is uh, very similar, and it's uh, very gratifying to work with uh, young soldiers. This is a critical uh, piece of equipment for the military. Uh, it's, it's part of uh, recovery requirements for, for uh, the students to know how to utilize this new piece of equipment. So it's, it's very uh, gratifying for me to be able to show them this, uh, this new truck from Navistar. Um, it, well, basically, if, if we weren't here using this piece of equipment and training, the students wouldn't have the opportunity to see firsthand factory training. They wouldn't have the availability to uh, apply all of the uh, items listed in the POI for the training. 
that's, uh, that's set out by uh, TACOM. So th this is great, the, this training area and utilizing the truck in this 80-hour course. That, that's the difference. Yes, this is, uh, we are on day six of our eight day training, which is an 80 hour course for the MRV. So today we completed four practical exercises. There are required tasks. So we just completed a uh, recovery mission here, which took about two hours. And the students got to see firsthand the capabilities of the truck. The practical exercise was the uh, a drag line over the side, change of direction pull which we've uh, covered already in the classroom. So this was the completion of the task, the, the practical exercise. Okay, and can you tell me, um, oh, what does it mean to you to give this uh, kind of training to the soldiers? Oh, it's very, very fulfilling to me. I get to see firsthand working with the soldiers exactly how they understand how this relates to their mission, taking the truck out in the field and we get to, sh to show them real world experience right here on the training site. Okay, and can you tell me, uh, what, what, are, what kind of real life, life situations, will they be encountering these, uh, these situations? Oh, absolutely. These uh, vehicles that we're utilizing for the class are the ones that have been previously recovered. So we get to utilize those for uh, the practical exercise. And the training area here, we have it set up almost uh, similar to the to the environment that they would see outside the wire. Well, just take the uh, stand blocks off and leave, leave, leave the end of the groups on there. Okay. Right. Ooh. Hey, John, you need the loops uh, on? The only thing you take off is that. Yeah, yeah. Hook it back to the endless loops and we're going to take a break. I think, I, I think you want to get y'all information. The first is kind, um, just its capabilities. Um, it can do almost double what the Hemi can do, I would think. And my, that's my personal opinion. Uh, from what we've seen with the, the boom, the underlift, the outriggers, it's, it's a much more stable platform. 
Um, just in the training we've been doing here, so far it's, it's pretty easy to get out there. Um, the boxes are real convenient. You, you pretty much know where everything is. Everything has its place, so you, you, there's no fumbling around trying to find your parts, your adapters, your chains. Um, it's very, I mean, it's got plenty of power. You don't have to worry about stalling on hills. Uh, the power to weight ratio is pretty good. So getting to the scene is gonna be real easy. Getting hooked up is pretty easy. The controls are, are easy. Um, the remote, you've got the, the remote with the 50 foot cable so you can get out and really see what you're doing when you're hooking up. Whereas having to have a spotter try to gauge you know, exactly where you need to be, it's kind of hard to do with hydraulics. But with, with the remotes and whatnot, you can actually get pretty close to where you need to be and hook up. The favorite thing about it, um, probably the cab. It's a lot more comfortable. Uh, I hear today we're doing a, a lift uh, it's called a lift and rotate with the uh, RG31. Uh, our capabilities of the truck is uh, to be able to lift and rotate a vehicle without, uh, without doing a whole lot of different rigging. It's faster for the soldier and it's more economic. Because, uh, okay, thank you. Our truck is uh, dual winches and uh, capability and also the boom can be used as a crane. And instead of having to re-rig a lot of different rigs, we can reel it in and lift the vehicle up and move it, set it on the trailer, and leave. All right, our, our vehicle is a, has an armored cab, V-shaped hull. Um, it, the boom can rotate 190 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise. Uh, we have two main drag winches, and we also have a main drag winch. We have two boom recovery winches and a main drag winch. And also we have an underlift, you can see on the rear. It's all, we all we use it as a stinger. The main objective is to, uh, first of all, protect the soldier and to recover vehicles in a battlefield environment. Uh, the goal for a new equipment training on the Max Pro MRAP recovery vehicle is to go out, recover a vehicle safely, bring it back, and hopefully to see these soldiers again at the PX.